morning. I'm Simone Bourgeois, and I am the facilitator of C-Lab, and I have the great honor and privilege to teach the children of the Sea of New Bedford. We have two entities to the C-Lab program. One is the academic year program, and that is from September to June, and the other entity is the summer session program, which is a six-week session in the summertime. Uh, currently, we are in our academic year, mode and during the academic year mode we are data driven and standards based and right now we're looking at a classroom and in this classroom our children from the fifth grade in the Bedford Public Schools visit on a daily basis to learn about earth and space science, to learn about the sun, to learn about the stars, to learn about moon phases and then as we progress through wave one, we go into wave two, and the children will be learning physical science. And they will be learning about magnetism and electricity, and we'll be conducting um, and making uh, electrical circuits. And today, uh, focusing on our philosophy of incorporating the community into the academic setting, we are fortunate enough to have the Naval Undersea Warfare Center engineers and educators here at Sealab and their focus today is design, engineering, and technology, and the students from the Duval School are taking part in building an underwater uh, robotic and then testing it to achieve neutral buoyancy. So we'll proceed, proceed now to uh, the classroom and to the aquarium room where the children are testing their, uh, their robots. questions for the end. Is that okay with everybody? Yes. Great. All right. So first things first, as you notice, there are three rings in the pool. The reason there are three rings uh, is so that at any given time, every team has at least two rings to go for. I need you to pay attention over here. Otherwise, you're not going to get a turn. Okay. All right. So three rings at every any given time so that teams always have at least two to choose from. Even if one gets stuck or if one team is working with another one, you'll always have at least one ring to go for. Um, so. At any given time, yeah, you shouldn't be knocking rings off of the other team's robot. You shouldn't be taking rings away from anyone. Everyone got that? Yeah, yeah. All right, so the controls are very, very, very simple. They look like this. There are two buttons and two switches. Uh, two buttons. Two controllers. There you go. All right, you can go ahead and start. But remember, whisper volume, whisper volume. So keep this behind the blue line, please. It's a lot harder than it looks, right? Yes. So remember, remember the buttons on the front are the up and down buttons. The one on the left should be up. Yeah! Go on, go on, go on. Whisper volume, whisper volume. Whisper volume. Whisper volume. Whisper volume. Whisper volume.